course, you have to ask me about the boat. So I told him, well, that was a long story. So <laughs> I didn't want to get into that. So anyways, I'm going to be launching here shortly. I just made myself a coffee. Ronnie, eh, Ronnie thinks he might be going, but I don't think so. My son's home today, so he can babysit him. Okay, well, we'll get rolling here shortly. All right, so we are wheels up. It's 7.30. Probably an hour later than I would have wanted to go, but uh, you, know, you can't argue with a sunrise like that. Beautiful scenery. So our ETA at the world-famous Schnitzer Scrapyard should be about 11 o'clock, give or take. So we'll start the journey. Okay, just here at the favorite rest stop. This is the last stop before the junkyard. It's actually sunny down here, but there's quite a bit of smoke in the air. You can actually smell it. Uh, it's an inversion from the uh, all the big fires down in California, Oregon, and Washington State. And somehow it's making its way up here. So other than that, it's a pretty nice day, but uh, I'd say that smoke is actually quite thick. You definitely smell it. So, I'd say the next stop is Schnitzer's. So we've made it once again. Uh, we're at the world famous Schnitzer Scrapyard. Not too busy today, I don't think. Let's roll up here a bit. The old non ferrous section. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Anyways, we'll go in there, we'll unload, and we'll see how she looks. All right. So I'm back from my adventure. Just pulled in the yard 10 minutes ago. Um, first things first. That was a long, thirsty drive. Or so it seemed. Ah, much better. So, now, just to recap, so they knew the aluminum was about the same, the ballasts were down a cent, no big deal. So number two, copper, yeah, last time I got 316, actually this time I got 317, so it was up one cent a pound, and the... Bear Bright. Was yeah, three thirty six a pound last time, so it's up ten cents a pound. So there, you naysayers. <laughs> it's the right at least in this part of the world the prices are the same or better. enough stuff for uh, one more trip get it organized probably go down the uh, try and get down the first week of October and that will that will definitely be it for the year because I think we're gonna get socked with winter early there's already been some uh, winter storms uh, up north there a few guys that work out of town up north and they've already uh, Fort McMurray they had a snowstorm up there northern Saskatchewan they've had snowstorms so it's coming so anyways I'm going to uh, check out and see if anybody's uh, on YouTube that I can harass and uh, finish my beer see you later